Hello guys, welcome back to the code mat. Uh, today's problem is expression tree. In this problem, we will understand the problem description and then we'll uh, write a code for that and we'll also review the time complexity it needs. All right, before we proceed, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe as we solve a lot of competitive problems and it may be helpful in your upcoming uh, interview. All right, now let's begin with the problem. What problem says is given a simple expression tree which is also a full binary tree it consists of uh, basic binary operators that is plus minus uh, multiplication and division and some integers all right your task is to evaluate the expression tree okay so these are the input formats given to us uh, let's first understand with the example what problem would like to say all right uh, if we go here in the first example this is what the binary tree or expression tree given to us in the input and we would like to evaluate this tree so if you form a equation of this binary tree it will look like this so what we are doing here is uh, when you are at a here at, at this node so what we are doing is we will take a left node and then whatever the operator and then take a right node okay so here it will be 5 into 4 okay same goes over here it will be 100 minus 20 okay and when you are at a here we will take whatever the result you will get from here that is let's say 20 okay and here it will be 80 so from the left and right sub 3 and then we will do a addition at that node ultimately this operator is going to be your current node and this will be your result from the left sub tree this is your result going to be right sub tree so if you see here what we are doing is before we uh, evaluate or process the current node what we are interested more is we would like to first evaluate your left subtree and right subtree and then you will evaluate the current uh, node so this is going to be a nature of your post traversal of a tree where we always do a first we will always evaluate or traverse to the left and right subtree and then we will uh, evaluate for the current node all right so let's write down a code for this what we will do is we will uh, write down one recursive call where every time it will calculate first left right and then it will uh, do a calculation for the current node and then we will return the result from there all right all right so we have a root node is given to us so what we will do is our base condition will be if your node is null is equal to null in that case we would like to return a zero because there is no uh, nodes from there onwards so we will return a zero from there now first we will calculate the left subtree okay so we will call the same our evil tree function okay and we will pass a uh, root dot left and same goes for the right also okay all right now so we we have called our before we process the current node we have called the left and right subtree now we will write the actual logic for the current node so we will first check whatever the uh, operator arithmetic operator is there we will do a, uh, that operation with the left and right so let's write down this in a switched statement all right and then root dot data all right now first let's say write down a case for uh, plus so if it is a plus then return left plus right okay same we will write case for other operator also so if it's minus return left minus right it's a division right and default what we want is default if a, the current node is uh, some number 
so let's say if it is any of this number then we would like to return that number itself so in the default case what we will do is we will return that number itself all right so once we are so this looks to be good now let's compile it all right so the first example where the tree was given in the example it was 3 and for 7 it is 4 minus 7 so going to be minus 3 all right okay now let's submit our code all right execution time 0.38 second so it looks to be good now let's understand the time complexity so what we are doing here is we are calling iteratively to the to the our main function so ultimately we are we are executing uh, this function for each node so our time complexity is going to be linear that means number of nodes that many times this uh, function get executed all right and if you see the memory wise as we are calling in a recursive way though we are not using any extra uh, extra space in the queue or stack so that way we are constant but if we calculate the your recursive call then that will generate a, a stack uh, stack trace of their method calls all right so the max that will go till your height of the tree because uh, in any of the case if you are at a here so ultimately you will generate this this many levels of stack of the method calls uh, and then after you will start popping up so max we will go till the height of your binary tree all right so that's it in this video hope you like it uh, if you have a different problem solution for this problem would suggest you to write it down in the comment uh, see you in the next video till the time bye bye